Hello everyone, this is MadDog32, aka Jamdove Dolphin Fan. We are starting up a actually spontaneous LP of Resident Evil Revelations. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna select the save down here. Oh wait, okay, I have to. Sure. I've I've beaten this game exactly one time. So it's almost like a blind playthrough. Um, I looked it up. This game's supposed to be only about eight and a half hours per se. And obviously, I have um, I'm using New Game Plus save because I have all my weapons and stuff. So it should be a little bit easier for us. We might be able to beat it a little faster. Um, so this is obviously one of those uh, side games. I wonder if this is posting music. I turned the music off because you know copyright bullshit. Um, but this is a side game that I, I, that's so funny. There's like no fucking sound. Don't know why there's no sound. Hold on. Weird. Okay, well, we're going to a boat to investigate. There's no subtitles either. What the fuck? Oh, there they go. I have no idea why there's n no sound. Uh, don't want to hit anything because I don't want to skip this. We'll check when we get in game, I guess. Yo, that's fucking weird. Cause I turned the music off, but the audio's still on. Like I have voices and shit. Well, we're ziplining onto the goddamn thing, investigating this mysterious boat. Like I said, you're not really missing much. So this is Jill Valentine. She's the protagonist of, uh, you know, a couple games. Hmm. Strange. What the fuck is like? Does that. That literally is only the music. Maybe that? Weird. Well, as you can see though, we're investigating this boat thing. Like I said, didn't miss much. What weapons we got on us? Got a pistol, shotgun, SMG. That's about it. Okay. All right, there's no sprint button. Gina, you okay? Is the audio just really fucking low? That's the knife button. There's a scan button for something. The stench. It's been abandoned for a while. Weird. Yeah, I guess the auto must have just been really low. Well, sorry about that, guys. The subtitles were on, so you could just read them. I'm not gonna just reshoot that whole intro sequence for nothing. Uh, life. I swear, right. there is like a fucking scanning I mechanic. Like here. I swear, there's like a scanning mechanic in this game. What? What happened? I don't think we're alone. No, I don't think so at all, Jill. I see though, Jill's got this little swimsuit drip on. This whole thing's based around a, you know, a, a ship, so... A lot of the monster designs are aquatic. So this game, I believe, originally came out for the 3DS? I don't think it came out on the regular. I believe it came out on the 3DS. And uh, it was actually very popular, that's why I got a sequel, which I've already covered in the channel a long time ago. So if y'all want, y'all can check out the Revelations, uh what's it called a uh, two playthrough I know it's been a long time but I was like yo it, Halloween's coming up and I have some time this game's not that long and if I can't get it done I'll get it done in time I think I should have enough parts ready for when October hits because this is currently not October yet so we're still chilling but 
Yep, I'm gonna be playing through this game just uh, in my free time for the next couple days, so I can get this ready. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. What is this? Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. Parker. Does fucking music determine the cutscene? Because I turned down the music volume. <laughs> that would be fucking weird. Because I have to turn the music on for the voices? Oh god, okay. I didn't mean to skip that, but the zombie popped out. Hold on. There's no fucking way. Give me one second. I gotta check this out. I guess <laughs> let's turn this up eh. we'll try that um, we'll turn it on really low and we'll see in the next cutscene if there's anything up plays cuz okay here we go Wow okay that's fucking stupid. Cause that thing just says adjust the music. Okay, so we'll just keep it really low. So, cause I, you know, always turn the music off for copyright reasons. But if there's ever any a point, I think I might have to mute it. I will. Um, I just I'll mute it in post. But uh, that's really stupid. Right, and this game was released like episodically because you know it was meant for like short playthroughs on the DS. Yeah, sorry about there being no audio for those first couple clips. What the fuck are you gonna do? You know what I mean? I didn't know that would determine the damn <laughs> like it literally says BGM which usually is like the overall audio but it doesn't like I'm just surprised it it works that way that it turns off in-game cutscene fucking audio because the music's off whatever though this sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast and I have it turned on to low too which is the funniest part is like it's actually only on like two or three pips but the whole cutscene plays like full volume. Isn't that dumb? The floating city of Terra Grigia. Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for the lack of talking in those cutscenes. At least though, uh, the subtitles were on, so y'all could read it. In 2004, Veltro. And I accidentally skipped the monster jumping out, but I mean. Launched a bioterrorist attack. This isn't one of those games that I think most people on the channel are going to be like, Oh my god, the Revelations 1 is my fucking favorite Resident Evil! I'm never going to hear that, but, <laughs> you know, I try to keep some type of quality. But yeah, no, um, I, I was totally like, I was going to save this game for next year in October, but I was like, I might have enough time to pull it off this year, so we're going to try. NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and I don't remember half this game's plot. Like, I remember this. I remember Grisha and all that shit, because they talk about it in Revelations 2 and stuff. But, um... Yeah, no. This is, a, a like, a mid-game. Because this game takes place in between, um, I, well, I guess 4 and 5, technically, but it's, for Jill, it's really between 3 and 5, you know? It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains... It's all fucked up. I mean, they hit it with a goddamn sunbeam from the sky. Some bullshit. 
Well, what are you gonna do though, you know? Cities blow up now and then, you know what I'm saying? No! <laughs> Right, and this like opening section is the kind of like flashbacks to explain why we're on the boat to begin with. Ah, there you two are. O'Brien, you don't normally join the pay. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. These outfits too, I could have unlocked. We gotta do a bunch of weird shit in mercenaries to unlock them, unfortunately. I always wanted to unlock them, but they're kind of pain in the ass. Because I, I kind of prefer Jill's like regular resi, um... Like, it's like her Resident Evil 5 design, slash, uh, Resident Evil Remake design. Just without the hat. It's got a damn scope on it. No, I brought it with me. Just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're gonna need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> nice. And teach us the mechanics. Oh, right, that's why we couldn't use the scanner, because we don't have it yet, technically, huh? That was the whole reason. Alright, uh, scanner. Ooh, the classic sound, too, of, like, paper. Yeah. Ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Goddamn zombie goo. Hey, Emma. Thank you. Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Goddamn pale heads. Genesis to get a reading on it. That's our cool enemy in um the remake. How does one use the Genesis? Oh, it is! Okay, you hold L1. That's what I thought. Scanning! Scan complete. The Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. Okay. Scan I'm the carcasses on the beach. From inside it. Oh, shit. Lucky me. I thought I was having to scan all these. That's so stupid that the, that's how the audio works for cutscenes. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> oh, well. I've got something. What is this? That, that is a good question. What the fuck is that thing? I'll run some tests on Continue with the investigation. Continue with the investigation. Well, that was the plan. I'm not gonna just stop because I found some shit. Yo, I found evidence. All right, that's all. It's good for today. We're moving on. What count as biomasses? Then scan this one. Also, love it. And there's no run button. You're just always in sprint. Or I guess brisk jog in this game. Goddamn scanner. I know a lot of people did like this. This is, oh, what the fuck? Careful, you two. God only knows what strain of virus we're dealing with. I kind of figured that. Don't worry, we're on it. After that some bitch came back to life. This must be a cakewalk. I suppose. <laughs> So ah, why yeah. Quit the FBC for this outfit. I wanted to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation. <laughs> this is such a, like a like a, a portable game. You can tell. I mean, granted, the thing for the, for the 3D. Uh, oh God, words for the 3D DS. This is actually a. I ain't gonna hold a decent Resident Evil game. I totally think. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh, that smell. I totally gas. think um, Resident Evil this. games belong on like handhelds and shit. That's why like the fact that all the Resident Evils got ported to Switch is like amazing because like they're so good to play in sections. They almost intend for you to mess up and play with them in sections. That's the funny part. NPC crate, huh? Can I scan that? Okay, I was like, 
Looking for a biomass. Looking for biomass. We don't have enough data to run a complete analysis. Gather no shit, Sherlock. This is on the beach. Why? Wow, there's like one carcass I'm missing somewhere. Oh, wait, did I scan you? No, I didn't. Wait, did I? Yeah, okay, I thought I did. Scan that over there. Hey, what's that? Grenade. Ah! I've collected enough samples. Yeah, you get a heal for that. Hey, bro! Oh, what the? Which one's grenade? This one. Oh yeah, it's just some regular shit, you know. Yep, just a regular day Resident Evil thing, you know, just some blowing shit up. All in a day's work for you two, eh? Yes, All sir. Right, enough chit chat. Get that sample data to me. There you are. Nice work. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. Since we have the settings separate, you know, the audio is lower in this, which I'm fine with because I kind of prefer y'all to hear me more than the game. But it's also just like the fucking mixing. It makes the mixing weird. Because like when we're in game, it's louder, but when we're out game, it's not. He's just legit wearing a tactical vest and a t-shirt. Starting now. Uh -huh. Good. Get to it. But like I said, this takes place between you know four and five, so Wesker hasn't resurfaced yet. I, I I thought his name was Parker too. Contact with Chris and Jessica. Sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. And that's why we were on the boat. The fine Chris. The signal was lost over the ocean. Thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. That's what everyone thought, right? Position. They must be on a ship. No shit. I'll go back to HQ. Unless they were in a plane. <laughs> you two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. I like how they run off like in a hurry. So Chris was on a ship and went missing, so Jill went coming after him. After her good old partner. Like I said, I gotta be careful with the pressing the button though. God d damn. That counts as a level? <laughs> Holy shit, that counts as a level? Uh, okay. Save the game. Next chapter. It's a cool looking boat, though. Think these things got to Chris and Jessica? Maybe. I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. You hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay. Oh, what the I'll fuck? see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll but radio damn. you if I pick up Chris's trail. What's it called? G26? G26 or G36? G36 is what it's called in Watch Dogs. I think in real life it's the G26. I always forget the name. I just remember it's G the number by Hetchler and Koch. I remember the manufacturer of that gun more than I remember the goddamn gun's name. <laughs> it's like the G... Uh, 36 G26 by Hetchland Cock. Or H Hetchland Catch. Chris! Chris! Damn, look at them backbones. 
Come on, say something. This is what, like her third, fourth actor. No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. This game is pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of people criticize Re the Revelation series one and two for being too much like four, which I don't even think that's necessarily a fucking bad thing. Uh, especially though in uh, Revelations 2, like it's just kind of like four but different, and it's like, yeah, that's kind of how you make decent games. Like, change a little bit, but don't change a lot, you know? Or change a good amount enough, and then change what doesn't need to be changed, you know? And vice versa and all that jazz. Where the fuck are these zombie bastards? Sensitivity is a little weird too, I might have to finagle with that. Oh shit. Takes a minute for to realize they're dead. They haven't got no like blood splatter type thing yet. They do melt, which is nice, but I mean. Actually, you know what? I isn't it? No. There's a button to walk, and I can't remember what button it is. Um, uh, let's scan this. The more we scan, the closer we get to a heal. Nothing. Nothing in there. But yeah, like I was saying at the beginning of this, like since there's no Resident Evil stuff coming out this year, I was like, I want to cover the last couple of remaining Resident Evils I haven't covered on the channel, and this is one of them. Uh, next year is uh, planning for the last one we have to cover, which if you pay attention to the channel, which Resident Evils we covered, you'll know which one that is. And uh, I beat that game with uh, A rank, so I got the infinite rocket launcher for it, so we should have a fun time. Ooh, shit! Oh. Rip Bozo. Alright, well. She'll totally be fine, right? Don't oh, mind just. Just give me a second, sir. I gotta scan you. Alright, there you go. Oh, shit. Right, I think they can insta you. Gotta be careful. I swear to God, this enemy might be able to insta. Jill, what's going on? Jill! I found a survivor. The BOW's got her. Though. Well, survivor's a loose word there. Was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you can necessarily call the, the lady a survivor. Just making sure, got the baddest. Hey, the key. Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. Do that. Meet you in the oh God! Room. Jesus See Christ. Ah, uh, well, you can actually play as her in the Mercenaries too. But that's gonna be it for this video. We'll come back in the next one. We'll obviously continue on uh, with the uh, Risen Evil Revelations. Sorry for all the technical issues. You know, this shit's on the fly, off the cuff. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace.